going to show you how to pair an Opticon 2002 Bluetooth barcode scanner with an iPhone. So step one is get this instruction sheet. There's a link down in the comments below and you can download this for free and it just walks you through the process, makes it very, very straightforward. The Opticon 2002 is about the size of a nine volt battery. We've got some Velcro on the back and we attach that to the back of the phone with Velcro and that allows you to operate it with one hand. There's two buttons on the scanner. The first operates the laser. The second smaller button is the function um, button and that allows you to turn it on and off. And before you ever connect this to a phone, you're gonna wanna reset the scanner. I believe this one's on already, but we're gonna press and hold the function button. If it's already off, it'll actually turn it on once. So that's turned it off. We're gonna keep holding the button here. And there were the multiple beeps. So it does take about 15 to 20 seconds. Once you hear that, then you are all set and it has been factory reset. So that's step one. Step two is we're gonna turn on the keyboard mode. That's how we're gonna pair this. It's also called HID. We can simply scan the barcode in step two. Step three is we're gonna turn on the Bluetooth radio or you can press and hold the small button. Now you go on your phone, you're gonna to go to the settings, you're gonna to go to Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on, and then it should show up in the options there. So it shows up as a keyboard and then it should come up with the name Opticon 2002. Go ahead and tap on that. Now it's gonna give you a, usually a four digit code and it'll automatically turn the scanner on. You can see that and we're gonna enter that four digit code. So 6007. Kind of come in from the side and then hit ends and we're paired so that's it now anything you type into the phone is going to work just like normal so we'll go to we'll just go up in the search bar we can scan a barcode so I got a book, we'll scan the barcode, and it'll simply enter that into the search bar. Now, one of the interesting things, nice part with pairing this with iPhone, there's one more option here, which is enable the keyboard toggle. So we can turn that on, and now if we tap in the text box on the internet, and then tap the small button here, it'll actually bring up our, our uh, keyboard. So that's really nice, you can pop the keyboard up and use it if you want, if you want to text while you're in the middle of scouting, or you can simply turn that off and get it out of the way, and that's with that small button. And again, you have to scan the enable keyboard toggle. Now you'll notice when I scan, that the, the scanner is set up by default to beep. We can turn that off again, simply scan the beep off, and that'll allow you to scan a little bit more discreetly. And then if you go into some sort of a scouting app, you should be able to scan books in rapid fire mode now, and off you go. So that's how to pair the scanner. Once it's paired the first time, you shouldn't need this instruction guide. However, it's a great idea to bring it with you because Murphy's Law says that if you don't, you're gonna end up needing it and your phone will somehow forget the scanner. So to turn it off, we can either turn Bluetooth off on the phone, but that will leave the scanner on until it times out and that can wear the battery down. So a better option is to press and hold the small button for about five to 10 seconds, you'll hear it beep. And now the scanner is off. You can turn the Bluetooth off on the phone, it doesn't matter. When it's time to go reconnect, simply turn the Bluetooth on, press and hold the button to turn it on and activate the Bluetooth on the scanner. And then you may need to go back to your Bluetooth settings. So go back to settings on the phone and simply tap it and that should connect it. And that's how to use an Opticon 2002.